Hey guys, Bancroft here from Attack and Productions. We got Aaron. He went first in our uh, tournament at our locals today. So I was playing uh, Broly. Everybody knows what he does. Um, he taps your stuff and untaps mine. Uh, pretty stupid. Um, playing a pretty standard deck. A uh, little bit of spice. So I run uh, this because. Um, Super Shenron is pretty prevalent in our meta, and this just kind of shuts it down a little bit. Um, not a bad turn one play. I'd probably cut it to two the next time. Um, and then, you know, the swap engine, so of course, four Bardocks and four Dependables. Um, the, thing, the reason I like this deck is because you can get really aggro -y with it if you need to. Uh, I've played a couple of games where I um, just kept rotating these in and out. Um, I couldn't either. I didn't hit my high to mastery, or you know, couldn't find path to greatness, and just did a lot of work. Um, path to greatness, uh, four of, gotta run it. Uh, card is bonkers. Um, tap stuff down, draw cards. Um, super good. <clears throat> um, so that's the the swap engine part of the deck. Pretty standard. Um, then some toolboxy stuff. So I run two explosive. Um, I would probably run at least three of this. Probably cut one of the black mass saying out. Um, this card is bananas. Um, just being a blocker, a barrier blocker, blowing something up when it comes in, when you should gash. Um, it's silly. The uh, card is just stupid good. Um, I ran three Bardocks. Um, th this is something that I'd probably cut to two, uh, but being able to restand and block is a really prevalent in this meta, and then always being able to pressure double strike is, uh, is really strong, so uh, I like it. Uh, and then of course, uh, Height of Mastery. Uh, so I run three, I don't think you need to run four. Uh, the deck draws so many cards with Broly being able to restand himself and draw. Um, so, card is really good against Veku. Um, in our last match, uh, was being, being able to tap down Veku was really strong. Um, without him, you know, being able to ramp, uh, actually play against two Veku ramps today, so he came in clutch. Um, every game that I've won is swinging twice with him, restanding him, and swinging again. So it's just really good. Um, so super combos. I've got two uh, Shigesh and two of the Goku. Um, I ran four Shigesh and then um, decided that if someone played Corona, I actually wanted to win. So uh, switched over to, to two uh, just to be able to actually draw some cards. Um, let's go to that last. And then, so this is a really defensive build of this deck. Uh, my, my locals is really aggro y right now, as is the meta. So I run four uh, Master Roshi, I run four uh, Flying Nimbus. Um, and I run two time magic. Um, this card is really good um, against Super Shinron. Um, you know, being able to tap down some some threat. Um, it's really good against Veku, being able to tap down Keflas or something like that. Um, just a really strong card. Um, plus, being able to spark it is really nice. Um, and then obviously, Flying Nimbus is the best negate in the game. And Roshi gives you some board presence uh, with the negate, which is good. Um, two bad rings, uh, just because, uh, I mean, it's a stupid card, yet you have to play it. Um, Bloodlust, uh, run three, um, would probably be okay cutting to two with as fast as the game is. You just want to see it. Um, you know, this card is, this card shuts down everything. Uh, since Gogeta isn't as prevalent anymore with Deflect, um, this card is just bananas. Um, three planets, um. This is a card that'd probably be okay going to four, actually, um, just because the restanding the Bardock, I play that Bardock all the time. Uh, being able to restand it's really good. Uh, being able to search your entire deck is nice. And then uh, four successors, um, just because it's it's a free plus one, so it's really good. Um, and then something a little different. I don't actually own a victory strike, so I run uh, this. Uh, being able to—that's why I run four Roshis. Um, being it, you know, you need the U sevens to discard for it. Um, you know, so you with Broly, you play high to mastery, um, and then you swing with him. Uh, you swing again, and then you can restand him and play this on top, or you can restand an energy and, and put him swing three more times. Um, it comes in pretty handy. Having crit is really nice. Uh, so, and 35k is just really hard to get over five times. Um, so it gets there. Um, you usually don't need it. You know, swinging three times with high to mastery is is nuts. Um, but this is uh, a cool little tech that people don't really expect. So, um, yeah, that's it.
anniversary box. So. Cool. Yeah.